guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I have another makeup video for you guys and it's based on this look, obviously. Um, but it's a very quick, simple, everyday type of thing. I don't wear makeup every single day. I tend to not wear makeup at all and then I just increase it by levels if it makes any sense. So obviously like I go from no makeup to just putting like concealer, brow gel, mascara, lip balm to putting like BB cream or a really light foundation and then obviously like no eye makeup and lip balm to this and then like this is what I like to do when I want to look a little bit nicer it's a daytime kind of look very comfortable um, in case it like wears off in places it still looks okay like it's obviously if you have it eight plus hours it starts to look a little bit but um, yeah it's just kind of like an easy everyday type of thing very comfortable very quick you can use the same technique for like any eyeshadow really you can change the colors and customize it but you can use the same technique obviously find a kind of like a lip color technique, something that is very comfortable for you. And as for the skin, I like to do it like this glowy thing. So if you want to know how to like achieve it, I'll show you how to do it. But obviously if you have like a different skin type to mine and you have like a different foundation routine and skincare, you can definitely stick to yours. And it's just kind of like um, a way and the products that I like to use for an everyday type of thing. So yeah, um, if you're interested in this video, please continue watching. First of all, I'm going to moisturize my skin and prime it with the same thing. This is the Embryolis Le Creme Concentre. And obviously I'll link everything down below where you can get it in the UK. I feel like I should take off my hoops for filming because they're tugging out. They're tugging at my ears. And they hurt when they pull out. I haven't tried to you guys in a while and um, it's been time. I'm going to use for foundation the Bourjois City Radiance Skin Protecting Foundation Skin Protecting Foundation, the brightening one with SPF 30 for today. It looks like this right here, and it's in the shade Ivory Rose or something like that. And I'm going to lighten the foundation with a bit of the NYX Total Control Drop Foundation in the shade 01 Pale. As I was saying. If you haven't watched the vlog I uploaded already, I'll link it down below and you can watch that to know what, like, what's fully going on and like why I have a new background and why it's been so long and why I haven't been uploading like constantly and things. So if you care to know, you can watch that vlog, but if you're just interested in the makeup, you can just watch this and then you can watch the other one if you get a little bit curious. But yeah, I just wanted to say that from the very beginning, that that vlog kind of explains why I've been gone and things. So. Okay, using a dual fiber brush, I'm just going to buff that into my skin. The only thing that I don't like about these brushes is that it tends to leave like brush marks and everything, but it gives you like a really light kind of finish. It's just what I'm looking for today, nothing too heavy. I really don't want a heavy makeup look today. With my sponge, I'm just gonna go over it like this just to blend it out even more and to give myself a full um, even effect with the sponge. Next for concealer under my eyes, I'm going to use the Fit Me Maybelline Concealer in the shade 05. I think it's light or maybe fair, I don't know. I think it's one of the lightest, lightest shades, if not the very lightest, because you know how pale I am. I'm just doing this on my nose. My forehead, I'm running out of this. I actually really like this, I fell back in love with it. I'm just blending this up with my sponge now. Also, since I've been gone for a really long time, I want to know how you guys are, like what you've been up to, um, what you're doing, how like uni school work is going or whatever you're doing, like if you're traveling, if you're having the most fun time of your life, like tell me, like I, I really wanna know, like I love hearing about like people's it's not being nosy or anything, but I love hearing about like people's lives and like nice experiences or I don't know, I just like I like hearing um, people when they're just living their lives, you know what I mean? And now to conceal any other imperfections that I have on my skin that the foundation didn't really cover um, I'm going to use the Tarte Maracuja Creaseless Concealer in the shade Fairly Light Neutral and just apply it everywhere where I need it or I feel like I could use a little bit more coverage and currently that's like on my cheeks for some reason I've been breaking out a lot like on my cheeks 
and that's not normal for me so it's just ugh, it's just annoying really it's not like i have terrible skin or anything but i feel like my skin's right now my skin is the worst it has ever been <laughs> to balance out i'm going to use this uh foundation brush yes it's dirty i need to wash my brushes today i plan on doing that tonight to set everything i'm going to use the laura mercier translucent setting powder loose setting powder I'm going to set that here where i put the um, the Tarte Concealer, I'm going to set that first because that is where it will most likely come off and I need that to stay in place as much as it can. For bronze, I'm going to use the Bourjois powder, bronzing powder and highlighter. It looks like this. And I'm just going to swirl my giant powder brush around it. Just breathing messily to try to get the highlight as well into the bronzer. Anyways, as I was saying, um, yeah, my skin's been the worst it's ever been and I've been using the La Roche Posay for like about a week and a half and I also use another uh, one, another thing, I use an exfoliant, a peeling like exfoliant and it's by The Ordinary, I'll link everything down below, it has like AHA and BHA acids and things like that, so it has been working out for my skin so far, I hope it clears it up and everything gets better as well and I hope it doesn't get worse or anything, I just kind of have to like I kind of have to see around and play with the skincare and I'll update you guys on how that's working. Now for blush, I'm going to use the Estee Lauder blush. Ugh, it's an ombre blush and I have absolutely no idea what name it is. It's quite old. I should probably get, get a new one if I can find a new one. But I just really love this blush. It's by Estee Lauder and the name's completely wrong. It's an ombre kind of blush and I tend to like just mix it in. It has the nicest kind of like shade and you can lean onto one side or the other whenever you want it. And it gives the nicest flush of color. I really like this. And then with the NYX Highlight and Contour Pro Palette, the one that it came as is, I'm going to use this shade right here and just contour it tiny, tiny bit. It's just a tiny bit that I want to contour. Not much at all. It's just right here and here. And that's it. For highlight, I'm going to use the NYX Strobe of Genius Illuminating Palette. And this is the one I use as a base. And then I go on top of it with this one, just a tiny bit, I just hit it a tiny bit. So be careful with it, apply little bit by little, and then um, you get your desired effect. And then just with the light shade, hit it right here at the very high point. Just so it looks like extra bright there. Right here, here, here. Now I'm going to use the e.l.f. Illuminating Mist and Set um, Setting Spray. I usually spritz my face all over this and then I go over the sponge to like really set it in, but you cannot do that with this spray. I don't know what it is. I don't know what it has. It makes your skin really glowy. Yes, it does, and it sets it quite nice. It lasts quite a bit of time, so like for an everyday type of spray, I think it's all right. But do not go over it with the sponge. It picks up the product and removes it off your skin, so don't do that. Look, my number one fan. <laughs> there we go. I don't know if you can see this properly, but this is exactly why I go really messily with the NYX highlight because with the setting spray after kind of you kind of like buff it into the skin, look at the glowy highlight it gives you like all over. And then after you put a little bit of powder, the highlight on your forehead is like very diminished. I really like how it looks. I love it. Now, moving on to my eyes. And now for the palette that I'm going to be using completely and entirely today is going to be the foot blah. The Smashbox Full Exposure Palette, it is my favorite eyeshadow palette like for a very neutral type of thing. You can do so many things with this palette. They're obviously all neutrals and they're very flattering on basically all skin tones, I would say. And it's just a very versatile palette and I really, really love it. Now that we're all up close and personal, you can actually see the glow a lot better here. Um, I'm going to go in with this shade first. Uh, all over and then just put this one in my crease as a transition shade. It's a very quick and easy eye makeup look. I mean, it's very simple, nothing too complicated, very flattering for an everyday type of thing. Next with my finger, I'm going to grab this shade right here and as you can see it has like smudges on top because I tend to grab it with my finger here. I just warm this eyeshadow up with my finger and then I apply it directly onto the lid. Then using the same blending brush, I'm just gonna blend a tiny bit like this. 
Next, I'm going to grab a tiny synthetic brush. It's not that tiny, but it's a small one. And just spritz it with my setting spray. Now, I'm going to grab the one adjacent to the one I just touched with my finger. And I'm just going to slightly go on top of it. And the reason I went with my finger uh, first with the other one is because that one gets picked up a lot better with your finger. And then this one with a brush gives it like a bit of a more um, intensity. And then with another brush, just grab um, the pinky shade right here and then this brown one. Just mix those two together and just apply them under your eye just to have a little bit of eyeshadow up down there. Something going on but nothing too crazy. Last but by no means least, I'm going to grab an eyeliner. This is an Estee Lauder Double Wear eyeliner in the shade Onyx. It's just a plain black and I'm just going to smudge a tiny bit right there. Just It can be quite messy, just try to stick as close to the lash line as possible. Don't make it too thick, just right here. And then the way that you know where to stop is that if you look at a mirror downwards, like on my face is like this and then I look downwards to a mirror like this, my mirror is right here and just um, smudge it a bit here and then try to stop by like the corner of your iris right here and right here. So then I just grab a pencil brush and then just stick very close to the lash line, very, very close and just blend it in. And then when it gets to the very edge, just flick it upward a tiny bit of time. Don't get too carried away, otherwise the black is going to go everywhere. And then when you're blending it, blend it until your pupil. So you put, apply it until the edge of your iris and then blend it slightly onto your pupil, until the center of your pupil. And I'm gonna go in with my mascara, but first I need to curl my eyelashes. My eyelashes point downwards and it's just a mess if I do not curl my eyelashes. Plus curling your eyelashes obviously makes you look more awake and just revived and just it makes your eye a lot bigger. As you can see, it opens up your eye a lot. I just curled my eyelashes right there. Next, I'm going to apply some mascara and this is the Maybelline Lash Sensational Waterproof Mascara. Now, if you get um, mascara on your lid, don't worry about that. Leave it, let it dry. Do not be impatient with it. You have to let it dry to, just to flake it off. And I'm just applying mascara on my lashes. Now that the mascara has dried on this eye, I'm just going to grab a spoolie and slightly flick it and it's coming off. So now we move on to eyebrows and for eyebrows I am using the Anastasia Beverly Hills Brow Definer in the shade Ebony. And I just like to do like a really simple brow look. I'm defining like the under side of my brow. I was like, where am I going with this? Brush it upwards, apply a tiny bit, like I just need the tiniest bit and just brush it, comb it. I'll fix the underside of the brow in a second, that just isn't very necessary. And then I go a tiny bit into the arch. This brow definer makes your eyebrows, like putting on your eyebrows and just drawing them on, so much easier and quick, like, I'm done. Like, it makes it so easy and I take so much longer with any other product. I really like it, it's very quick and easy. For eyebrow gel, I'm using the L'Oreal Brow Artist Plumper and it's in the shade like dark brown, the dark one, obviously. And I love this one so much. This has become like my favorite brow gel. I use it a lot more than my Anastasia one because it has fibers and color. And when I don't want to put an eyebrow on as an actual everyday makeup, I just use this and it fills in my eyebrows so nicely because my eyebrows are already quite full. It's just so quick and easy, it's very affordable, and it lasts you ages. Moving on to my lips. Now, for this makeup look, you can use absolutely any lip color. It looks so flattering on you, but obviously I'm going to go for a nude today um, because I'm feeling like that. Now, for lips today, I'm going to use the Kiss Me By Life Glam Liquid Lipstick in the shade Luxe. And I'm going to kind of like use this liquid lipstick as a lip liner and I'll show you what I'm going to do. This is what I like to do nowadays when it's like an everyday type of thing and I'm just living my life. What I like to do is, I can't really talk, but I like to overdraw my lips a tiny bit.
And now that I've overlined my lips like this and it looks crazy, I just drag the color in a little bit with what's left on the brush. Just go in with a little bit more lipstick and then that's it. And then with my finger, I just like to buff the edges of the lip. And then I'm going to go in with a shade that's really, really similar to it, but it's a creamy nude lipstick and it's very comfortable. It's by Dior and um, it's the Rouge Dior 169 Greg. And this is basically <laughs> done. I love this. I've loved this for years and I lo love it still. It's a very nice nude shade, very flattering. And I just dab it on top. And I'm done guys, this is it. This is the entire makeup look. This is what I would do when I like step it up a little bit with an everyday type of thing. Um, I hope you guys really like the video. If you do like this type of makeup look, really like nice and simple looks, neutral looks, please give a thumbs up and tell me in the comments down below if you like any other neutral things that you want me to do or any specific videos or anything you want me to teach you or anything, just any suggestions. I would really appreciate it. Um, I do really. Thank you so much for all the love on my videos. Um, I am so happy with how this came out. My skin looks so glowy and it just, I don't know. I hope you guys really liked it too. Uh, thank you so much for watching. Uh, don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you on my next video. Bye!